I can't believe I bought this. It's like a bet. Okay, we won't watch this. We'll watch uh, Dolores Claiborne or Liberty Heights. Mm, Dolores, Dolores Claiborne's Claiborne. good. No, I don't want to watch that. Have you seen it? Yeah. You've seen it. Okay. I've seen it like a hundred times. Yeah, we've seen Here. it. Seymour. Oh, hey. Seymour, hey. this is my uh, this is my friend Nancy. Nancy, this is Seymour. Yeah. Seymour Hi. Shackleton. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so Liberty Heights, that's funny. But growing up in the fifties, uh, a Jewish family growing up in the fifties. Okay, no. Maybe. Okay, what'd you get? I got um, I got Boys on the Side, Bonfire of the. Is that Fahrenheit 9/11? Yeah. You bought this? Yeah. You want to watch it? No, I've seen it, and I definitely don't want to watch it again. It's like it's like propaganda. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, I saw it in the theaters. Did you feel manipulated after you watched it? A little bit. You yeah. see? You see? It's one side of no, the story. No, no, no. You have got it all wrong. It's not manipulation. This is the truth. The problem is, is that what people think is the truth is actually manipulation. So when they see something like this, they're like, oh, this guy is lying to us. I think this is a very important film, and I think that everyone needs to see it, Inclu especially Americans. Because, I mean, it's... It's important that they know what's going on, that their government is lying to them. They need to vote Bush out, and they need someone like Michael Moore to tell them to do it because they're too, too stupid and lazy and brainwashed to figure it out themselves. Uh, actually, I'm American. Well, look, it's, it's not that I have anything against <laughs> charities per se, it's just, uh, you know, look, I'm still at the office, I'm up to my neck in it, and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it. Look, I know, I know, it's important to you and your dad, uh, I will call you if I can make it, okay? I'm sorry, bye. Is that Ritu? Yeah. How's she doing? Oh, well, she's fine. She wants me to go to this stupid charity thing tonight. What charity? Uh, I don't know. It's something your dad organized for all these mentally uh, challenged people. Hey! What do you mean? Hey. He organized hey. them for me? Well, it's like $300 a plate. And, oh. Uh, it's something she really wants me to go, but... Hey, buddy. I, I don't... Yeah, sit down. No, no, I'm alright. I'm alright. So is it you know, sort of a big... Is I, it I like a fundraiser for them to go to camp, or what? I don't know. I just, I, all I know is I have to go. I'm in the doghouse. Hey, uh, buddy, sit down. I don't know. No, I'm, um, I'm fine. Thanks. I don't like you towering over like that. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, stay upright. <laughs> Are those pants hurting you? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. <clears throat> What's up? Went to the, uh, went to the butt doctor today and had my arse worked on. I can't believe it. I mean, it's been probably 15 years since I'm, I've seen him, and he actually remembers me. Jacob remembers me. I can't believe it. This is your boss. Yeah, and the kid I used to torture. Right. All right? And, he, and he's screwing with my mind. I mean, he walked by my desk probably eight times this morning. Wow. Eight times. Yeah. Not only that, he called me three times about reworking the eating out section of the newspaper. Eating out. I made him eat a bee. Right. Remember? Right, yeah, yeah. He's toying with me. Well, I mean, I had to spend half the day on the smoking terrace. I had chain smoked half okay, a pack of cigarettes. Okay, well, smoking stupid. Why don't you just call him? Just talk to him. Like, bury the hatchet. Apologize. No. This was a long time ago. Well, he yeah. needs to get over it. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to ride it out. Might have to smoke a few cigarettes. But Hey, speaking of confronting your boss, why don't you talk to Krieger, oh, Luann? You know what? Just Let's just leave that where it is, okay? Krieger's still in love with Luann. I don't know when <laughs> I'm going to be able to shake him. It's just... I should get on that. Yeah. What's what, what's what's going on with you? Oh, well, I just found out yesterday that uh, this guy at work, Rolo, uh, found out that uh, he's got a little baby girl from his ex-girlfriend. Wow. Yeah. Doctor Olson was a chick, eh? And she makes me drop trow, right? And I'm laying there, you know, rump, rump roast out and open, and she injects this stuff into the hole in my derriere. It's kind of burns a bit, eh? That's why I can't sit down, though. Okay, why are you getting something injected into that ever so important hole? No, no, Pete, not that hole, the hole where I got. Oh, right. It's there. cosmetic? Well, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call it, it's not, you know, it's not really like that, but, you know, why? sure. Why are you doing this? Well, it's sort of an, an anniversary gift for my wife, Chair. 
and um, I'm gonna surprise her. I'm gonna get into bed, and her favorite fruit's candy apples, eh? So I'm gonna cover her in a candy apple okay, glaze. Okay, okay, just, just no, it's good. It's good. Up. It's good for you, Johnny, that that you're taking some pride in yourself. Sure. Well, you know, it's for the wife, right? How so. do you uh, how do you plan to hide this fact that you've? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming there's some gauze on it right now. Oh, it's not looking pretty right now. What are you gonna do? She's gonna know. <clears throat> well, the the trick is just to not let her get behind me, right? Just always, right? You know, when I get in bed, just stay on the stay on the back. You know, if she tries to get behind me, just don't let her, right? Okay. Just keep the feet moving. Keep the feet moving, cause she will try, eh? She will try. Just keep the feet moving. Um, Seymour, I'm, I'm sorry. No. I, no, I mean, I, I didn't mean to say all Americans are stupid and lazy. That I didn't take it personally. She, she, no, she, she's like that. She gets fired up about, you know, a cause and, <laughs> oh, yeah? you know, you've always been like that. Yeah, I'm she, sorry. She I'm, I'm always very... goes for the underdog and... It's yes, good. I mean, I, I like that about you. I think that, you know, more people should take more <laughs> interest in saving the creek. High school? Do you remember that? Oh my god. She organized the Save the Creek uh, protest. Oh yeah? There's this creek behind our school. I totally forgot about that. How could you forget about that? I don't know. You went I down, try and block those she, kind she of collect, things out. She collected, you collected all the, the these turtles to try and, yeah. you know, say, look at the wildlife that you're killing, and then they get loose. Remember Pear Watkins? Yes. Pear Watkins gets, <laughs> okay. gets a, gets a, gets a... Uh, got a bit on his ear. Ear, he was trying to, like, get the snapping turtle <laughs> out of the mushroom. It was very funny. Did lose it, did he? What's that? He didn't lose the ear. No, no. It's yeah. just, but he was, no. like, you know, I think he's he scarred scar, for life. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't my friend after That's that. That's good. You're passionate. That's very good. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you're American. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have dual citizenship, so. Oh. Uh, uh, so are you going to vote? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Who are you voting for? The guy I think is best. Don't you see it from his point of view, though? Well, I mean, sure, come on. I how, how is he expected? This child was kept from his knowledge. Yeah. Okay, he, he had no idea that this baby was in his life, and he yeah. wasn't supposed to find out. And then all of a sudden, because his girlfriend's in a coma, he's supposed to step in and take responsibility for this child. That's it's crazy. And his girlfriend's right? in a coma. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. It's, it's, it's it's wild. Yeah, well, I just I, I've never heard you talk of anyone named Rolo. Like like the yeah, but Rolo, he's new. Is he, he's new. Yeah, right? Rolo cat. Yeah, the, look, anyways, but it's crazy. I mean, he's not a bad guy. He wants to do the right thing, but I mean, sure. how is it his responsibility? How is he, why is he supposed to chase his entire life just for this when he's not supposed to find out at all, right? He's not a bad guy. Well, well sure, sure, I guess. I, how long have you known Rolo? Like, just, what, look, just, I, I, yeah, a, a while, okay? He, he just started to work. Look, just, just come on, help me out here. Isn't it crazy? Help you out. Well, what's your deal? Why are you so fired up? Look, Who cares? I'm I mean, not, don't I'm get me wrong, it's a crazy it. situation, but... Who, why, why do you care so much? Who is Don't. Rolo? I'm Rolo. Okay, Rolo what? is me. Look. What are you talking about? It's my baby. Fine, I'm all for tenacity, but I mean, it depends on what this tenacity is for. Like, do you actually believe in the things that he stands for? Well, I don't think that, you know, Bush and Kerry are that different in their standpoints. I mean, they all support the same causes, have the same opinion. I mean, look at gay marriage, you know? David, you're gay! Oh, uh, yeah, but that doesn't mean, so what? Neither of them support it, but, but at least, you know, with Bush, he's really clear about it. With Kerry, he's like, well, I don't think it's right, but I'll let the states decide. I well, mean, th I mean, that's better than saying, well, I think that a love between a man and a woman is somehow oh, better or more valid than love between a man and that. a man. Both, none of them like it, so you can't, you can't use that argument. Well, you know I, what I mean? I, I don't know. I just, I don't see how he can possibly be re-elected. I mean, how could the, the American people possibly re-elect such a blithering idiot. I mean, the see now that's something that gets on my nerves is when people keep saying that you know Bush is just this idiot. He's president of the United States. Yeah. You can't be president and be an idiot. And secondly, you what happened to respect for the office? I mean, do you know what kind of pressure, what kind of decisions the president Absolutely. is under? You see, yeah. uh, it's too easy no, to I, say blanket statement. He's an Seymour. idiot and doesn't know what he's doing. I agree with you. I agree with you. I, I hear where you're coming from. You see, clear thinking guy knows what he's talking about right there. Congratulations! I, I had no idea. You know what? We gotta get some cigars. I mean, cheap ones, but we gotta get some cigars. We'll sit down, we'll smoke a cigar. No, I mean, this is amazing. Zach, Zach. What? 
You can smoke them yourself, okay? I, I no, mean, I can't. I've been smoking well, all day. I can't do Be that as it may, I, I, I can't have anything to do with this kid's life. What? I, I'm not ready. And I, I am not going to have anything to do with this, this, this Look, child. I, I'm sure you're scared, but Ruth is a great kid. I mean, I helped Jesse babysit one day. She's great. I mean, she loves me. So if you need a babysitter, I'm I, great with her. She's very calm. Scared She's doesn't not... even begin to describe how I feel. Look, I can barely take care of myself, man. What are you I, I just got about? to a point in my life where things are starting to fit together. And now I'm supposed to take care of this baby? I don't know anything about kids. You're going to be I a great grow. dad, I can't, Randy. I can't take care of a plant. I, I don't have any pets. You don't like do plants anything. or pets. Look, you're going to be fine. I mean, think about all your toys. I mean, that makes you a great dad right there. You have no, the best no. toy collection in the entire no world. Toys do not make a good father. <laughs> I know, but okay. you know what I mean. And I don't even know for 100% whether this kid is mine or not, either. <laughs> well, what was A-Rod thinking? I mean, you can't swat the ball out of somebody's hand. I mean, it's ridiculous. And it almost started a riot in there. Did you see the cops? Well, the people oh. of New York are very passionate about their game. Well, the Yankee fans are idiots. Losing. They're idiots. They're worse than Philly, Philadelphia Flyer fans. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Game seven tonight. I mean, it's, come on, this is legendary, okay? It's the curse of the Bambino. It's over, the curse is over. You think so, All eh? the okay, curse is over. You don't think eighth <laughs> inning, Bill Buckner's gonna climb out of the stands and just start, oh, I got it, I got it! Oh. Okay, but why oh, oh. was why was Schilling's uh, ankle bleeding? Yeah, I don't know. I don't it was know. getting bigger and bigger. The that ankle was wasn't bleeding. Yeah, yeah, he's the big, like a big bad red, red spots on his, on his sock. Oh, really, eh? Did uh, you like, even watch the game last night? I did. You know, he plays for the Red Sox. And on their socks, they have little red emblems. Oh, okay. okay, then, and, and, and how is it that it was down. getting bigger and bigger throughout the game, then? Doesn't make any sense. Please just sit down. No, I ain't sitting down. It's just it's very uncomfortable. I don't care, buds. I don't care. If I sit down, it might squish out the, just, you know. It. You know, if you get home soon, you can still go to that charity thing. Go for half an hour. No, Let's get I, don't, I don't want to be in this group of mentally retarded people today. Challenge, mentally challenged. Yes, because I should be at home watching game seven. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. You, you have a chance to hang out with those guys? Yeah, it's a charity event. It's, it's nothing personal. I just don't feel like going. Go You've got to go. You've got to go. Oh, really? It will change your life, those people. Bush took out a dictator. The guy was a bad man. And he went in there and he... And, he, and, he... and killed innocent people. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, he did rush to war. I thought that was sort of a negative point. I mean, Absolutely. when the Senate gave him the power to go to war, they didn't expect him to go to war. They Still expected to him, him to use it option. as a threat, as an option. But him rushing in there, he's isolated himself from the United Nations, and he's, he's made it into a United States effort as opposed to a world effort to Absolutely. try and change a country. You see? I like how this man thinks. There you go. That's a nice tie. Thanks. That's a nice tie. Really? You're on my side Marsupials. now. Marsupials. Don't you think the people of, of Iraq are better off now, though? Well, I mean, no. How can you say that? Well, it their seems to me. Their homes are in ruins, their lives are destroyed, people are dead, and they have no choice. That's the biggest thing, David, is that this was imposed upon them. People have to have choice. You're not living if you have no choice. Well, what kind of choice did they have when they were living under a dictator? What? No choice. That's the point, right? you got to look at the situation as it is now. You know? Okay, so as it is now, and they've got some other no, foreign he's dealing with, he's, in there. He, no, he's not American a dick. He's not even there. He, they're, they're setting up a system of government. They're helping them yeah, rebuild. and they're telling right? them how to live their lives, what to wear, what to do. It's democracy. You were the one who just told me that, that she's your child, and now you're saying you, you don't know? No. What's, what, what is this? Who knows? I mean, there's no, there, there's no uh, paternity test or anything like that, so... Well, I hate to break it to you, but she looks like you, Randy. Okay? She's got black hair, yeah. hey, for one. I don't think she got that Yo, a lot of people have black hair. It doesn't well, mean they're all related, okay? Yes, huh? I, I know that. But she's also got your nose. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, hey, this is what she looks like when she's arguing needlessly with someone. Come on. I've, I, I've seen her, okay? You, you've you seen her. Look, come on, give us a couple faces. What about when she's sad? You know, she sticks her lip out like you do. Her bottom lip like this when she's sad? Boo. Randy's sad. Boo. Huh. Come on. Well, that's what she looks like when she's really, really pissed off at me. Come on. You don't, you don't think she looks like you at all. This is what she looks like when she's not talking. Okay, look, what? fine. She might 
be my daughter, okay? Might be. Okay, she probably is my daughter. There you go. But I don't want to be her father. I don't want to go. I don't see what the big deal is, okay? Uh, the tickets are paid for. They're gonna get the money. So why the hell should I go? There's gonna be an empty seat there, you know? It's just... You're, an opportunity you're to missing out. Of it. You're missing out on something real special, man. You, you, Am I? you get a bunch of these guys together, you know you're in for a good time, all right? Mm -hmm. My best buddy, when I was a kid, named Jody, he had Down syndrome. Great guy. We'd hang out together and we would just laugh constantly. And we'd wrestle. And this guy, he was like twice my size, and he was bendy. Eh? He was just like this big, like bendy dude, right? And you could get him in a lock, and he could okay, slip right out of the lock Thank like you. no problem. Yes. Um the point is, these kids need your support. I mean, they've they've kind of had some hard knocks in life, you know? I understand you to be there, that. Like, what's I it got... going to hurt you? Look, really? me being there in person is not going to make any difference, okay? The fact that, that they've gone through these things and, you know, they, they, they've they overcome these little triumphs, I mean, I'm happy for them, but I don't, why should I sit there and listen to it? Because I don't they'll to melt your heart, buddy, because they're pure love. They're pure emotion, all right? And if you get a room full of them, right, you, you know you're in for a good time. You're going to laugh. Yeah. You get them wrestling? Oh boy, look, 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 look I don't think back. there's going to be wrestling. Why, why don't you guys take my ticket then? I, get, I, I can't. Because and I, you can't go in those pants. Oh, yeah. You're acting like you went out with Liz for like a week. I mean, I thought you were like totally in love with her. I mean, didn't she mean anything to you? You're acting like she didn't mean a thing. Of course she meant a lot to me. She meant the world to me. Why do you think I'd well, hurt so much? She wasn't going to tell me that this child was mine. You know why? Because she thought I wasn't good enough. I was never good enough to be her father, to be her partner, any of that stuff. Okay, and now, because she's in a coma, I'm good enough all of a sudden to step in and be the father? No way. Her family can deal with it, not me, okay? She made this bed. She can deal with okay, it. Okay, I don't want to... Stop yelling at me, all right? I'm not Liz, okay? Look, you're getting angry at me, and you're... You're getting angry at a baby. You're getting angry at Ruth. She didn't do anything, all right? This is not her fault. If you're angry at Liz, that's one thing. But she's just a baby. Your baby. What are you doing? Randy, Ra How sucky you two can be. I'm being a suck. You're being a suck. You're both no. being a suck over something you don't even have a stake in. You're not even Americans. You know, it's bipartisan politics that is ruining the United States right now. Everyone thinks that if one party has the answer, the other party must have the wrong answer. Like it's something you can look up in the back of a book. You know, what I'm thinking is what if both answers are right? What if Kerry would be as good a president as Bush would be if he continued as president? Or what if they're both worse? Yeah, there's no right or wrong. It's just theories. Uh, yeah, no, I, I know. We're just talking, right? Yeah. We're just talking. Yeah. We do this all the time. Healthy conversation. Healthy debate between friends. Yeah. Otherwise, it would get stale. <laughs> and you know what? Seymour, no, no matter how you vote, Bush, Kerry, I think that it's your choice to make, and that's what being American or Canadian or whatever, living in a democratic place, is all about. Exactly. That's freedom. Exactly. In of course, it's not just a choice between Bush and Kerry. I mean, I, I could vote for Nader. Oh, don't oh, no, don't no, bring no, up no, Nader. No, 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 no. Nader, so right Nader no, came up with the speeches he wants to complete. He's making yeah, changes he's brilliant, for the environment, the health care system, for the people. It's, it's not about so money. Close. He's not being he backed that. by one of the major powers. Look, you want you want okay. All right, you want me to be honest? I don't want to go. Okay, I'm not at work. I'm on my way home, and I'm not going. Yeah, because, uh, frankly, they're not going to miss me, and I'm going to make them feel uncomfortable, and more importantly, they're going to make me feel uncomfortable. So, what? Hello? You did it again, Pete. You did it again, buddy. You're in the doghouse now, man. Yeah, <laughs> well, at least, you know, what, I shouldn't be honest with her? Is that what you're saying? Or you're trying to tell though. the truth? <laughs> yeah, well, I told her the truth, and if, and if she doesn't like it, then that's, that's her problem. I mean... You know what? Like these guys are gonna miss me. They're not, they, they can't even tell I exist. They're, they're not gonna care. Can you just suck it up at least for her benefit? 
I mean, I'm sure she goes to a bunch of your events, right? You know, she she, she supports you. Well, She's Raptors you, games but... are a little more interesting than this. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Look, look at him, all right? He's, he's putting himself through surgery, so, you know, for the benefit of his partner. Yeah. You can't just you go to a, a dinner for half an hour. You know, for her. You know, I'm, I'm getting my arse reconfigured just, just for so my wife can have some more fun. It's got nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? I'm going through, I'm going through hell in a handbasket just for her. There well, that's go. good. You're there real you sweet. Go. Yeah, you, you don't want to end up in the doghouse, buddy. Believe me. Believe me, it's cold in there. You're not going to have any doggy fun. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be playing a lot of five-on-one. You know what I'm saying?